What is up everyone and welcome back to more Final Fantasy 7, the remake! Thank you so much for all the love on the first episode, I adored it. I'm really excited to see how the world of Midgar is. It's just crazy to me, it was so cool having a flashback as well between Cloud Sephiroth and his home Niflheim burning down and yeah, just so, so nice. And I still can't get over seeing the materia in his sword. I don't know why that means so much to me. It's just little touches like that. It's just awesome. There's so many bits that I am so excited for to see. And I think that's about to give way too. And I just want to get there already. You are trendy, honey. Never hoped to climb all that. She's adorable. Oh my gosh. I hope whoever did this is happy. Well, I'm not, for the record. Sure, we could try the alley, but is getting to the station really worth breaking our necks over? Yes, because we won't. This is an alert on the Shinra emergency operation. Shooting for the station? An evacuation order. Take the alley and climb up to the roof of that building at the end, and you're practically there. If you make it that far. You are advised to vacate. Camera, stop it. Everything oh, no. Like to that station <laughs> it kills me. The military's on the way. Once they're here... There's no time! He needs help My now. baby's at the station. God, I feel so bad. Like, I know that we didn't directly do this, but seeing the devastation it's caused... is terrible. You are advised. I'm actually in the world of Midgar, though. It's crazy. Uh, okay, let's get to the station. As soon as it comes out that this is because of Avalanche, we're done. We're gonna be hated. What a mess. No one thinks we're suspicious walking around with a big sword on our back. <laughs> Um, I was gonna say I missed that. Got some more potions. Oh, the cameras were not nice to me just then. I mean, I feel like this is the best way that you could do this section anyway. <laughs> it's kind of nice, actually. Sorry, I have a tickly cough. Don't panic, it's nothing like that. I just had some fizzy juice, that's all. Loveless Street. Oh, Eris is here somewhere. Is over here. Don't let the intruder escape. Security's everywhere. Warning. Good. Military's here. I don't know if it's good though. We don't trust the military. Too weak to save anyone. <laughs> Not even yourself. Are you okay? <sighs> hey, are you okay? I'm fine. Here, this is for you. Huh? A flower? That's right. It's a gift. You know. For scaring those things away. What things? Never mind. Think of it as a memento. Just my luck. I heard that, you know. Um, how much? Yeah. How much? Oh! Well, that depends on the customer. In your case. <laughs> It's on the house. Huh? Lovers used to give these when they were reunited. <sighs> Look, I'm involved in things. Dangerous things. Oh, I'm sure you are. So? So keep your distance. Wait, you think someone's out to get you? 
Is that what you're all worked up about? Relax. No one's going to attack you. I promise. Hey, a Mako reactor just blew. You shouldn't be out here trying to self- <gasps> What the hell? What is happening? <laughs> Help me! What the hell? this game it's oh shoot but she went down this way and I, I just want to see like wait this seems to be the way I'm supposed to go I don't know if that's a good thing or not I think we should go and take all the enemies oh no wait that's a dead end right that bastard couldn't have gotten far stay alert Stick around here. All right, let's go kick some soldier butt. Yes, this is so good. I want to know what those crazy things are, though. There he is. You're not going anywhere. I love the variation on the. Nothing to it. The battle theme, it's so good. What is this? Deadly dodge materia? What? I mean, I can't set anything else. Deadly dodge materia? Oh, that's so cool! Increase the potency and effects of deadly doge. But I really want to keep fire for just now. This music. Oh, there it is, there! So 16 of 300. That's gonna take a while to level that up, huh? Hey, oh, doggy dogs! So freaking good! Uh. Poor dog is just standing there. I just want to explore everything like I'm so sure I could maybe just go past all these soldiers but 
A pair of power wrist guards? Ooh! Increases strength by 5%. Hell yeah! So, in the original, if you guys haven't played it, I feel like I'm going to be doing a lot of comparisons for you guys, but you basically have to fight until the train arrives. Now, I don't know if that's how this is going to be. Um... <laughs> it's actually quite ah get off bad dog get off I did not know they could do that no So it's kind of scary because you have to do damage in order to build up your AP. What am I firing at there? Still in it. So if you have to retreat, like for any reason. Hey, my limit's almost up. Yeah, if you have to retreat... Uh-oh. Then your A, B, or whatever is not gonna go up very fast. I am heading for the station. Oh, I can't get that? Ah! Jesus! Not these freaking things. I will not lay down my weapon. I will kill everyone. Don't let him escape. Give up. I don't want to escape. I just I just want to get what's in that box. And you're not letting die. <laughs> you're not letting me. I was going to say I need a shortcut. Can I get it now? But the rooftops look clear. Flight through the city? What do I get? Grenades. Um I want fire as my shortcut. Like, can I not put it in there somehow? Battle settings? L1 and X, I want to be fire, and then... L1 and triangle for cure. Ah, uh, let's take off potion and put that as focus thrust. Thank you! I'm not ready to leave just yet. There might be some goodies hanging about. This is such a good game. Oh my lord. I just... Ah, I'm happy. I just can't believe that I... I've been waiting to play this game for about five or six years now and... So far, it does not disappoint. Everything just feels really natural. Like, I'm used to playing these kind of games. Devil May Cry 5 was an amazing game I played last year. Um, kind of there. getting vibes. Open fire, shoot to kill. Definitely getting Devil May Cry vibes with the hack and slash. And that is not a bad thing. It's most definitely a good thing. Be advised, target approaching residential area. Seal all access immediately. 
Break the block. Oh my gosh. Break the blockade? What blockade? Oh, duh. <laughs> I was like, what? Where? Shinra really don't like me, huh? Nah, don't. Ether for just now. I see him. Do ya? Where? I don't see you. I mean, if I'm in a residential area, you probably shouldn't be doing this much. If there's civvies hanging about. Was never in doubt. There's so many of them, oh my gosh. Like, all these sections took, I don't know, five minutes in the original. So they've definitely extended. I mean, we knew that anyway. We're only playing Midgar, but. It's really cool to see the extended bits. What? Why are you running? Oh, double F. There is so many of them. I'm just gonna quickly use a potion. Hey guys! Grenade! Actually, I might toss a grenade. I got so many. Apologize. <laughs> Grenades are OP. No. We must be getting close to the end. I vaguely remember a cutscene on this long stretch here, so I don't want it to be over, but I think we're about to catch the train. Dun, dun. Anyone else? Oh shit. 
Blocking? It's like... Cloud won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? Guy's a soldier. Goddamn one-man army. Mm -hmm. Hmm. You think he's a keeper? <laughs> oh, he's a keeper, all right. For a minute. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, what the hell you been up to? <laughs> <huh>? <laughs> Giving public security the runaround. That's what. Had to draw them away from the station somehow. Nicely done. Well, can't argue with results, huh? <clears throat> what? <sighs> Got a question for you all. What? 
Ever been attacked by an invisible enemy? Uh, what? Wearing robes. Came and went like the wind. <laughs> Thought they were invisible. They were, at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic-induced hallucination. <clears throat> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. That's right. So it was only after Eris actually grabbed him. And then the freight car, too. Because of the evacuation order, maybe? Look at us. We've got a crowd to hide in. Head for the front of the train and hold there. Due to an explosion at Mako Reactor 1, an emergency schedule is now in effect. Your understanding and cooperation is appreciated. Some people say Wu Tai's involved. Oh! God! I just got like the biggest chills ever as soon as they said Wu Tai. Hey! Is your name Yuffie? <laughs> oh God! I'm so happy playing this game, I swear. <sighs> no guards here, right? It's a relatively nice train. Are you the one so Ah, that better not have been where I thought it was. Hey, got a sec? Never gotten out of bed this morning. Yeah. Always got a sec for you. You're uh, holding up pretty well, huh? Even after what we saw at the station and all over Sector 8? I'm a soldier. Perpetrators yet. Wow. My hands are still shaking. You get used to it. Something to look forward to. Or you maybe see, not. My daughter now lives in Sector 8, so... Do you think Wu Tai's to blame? Do we honestly hate Wu Tai that much? Please. I'm sure I can't Sector stop thinking about it. Too. The bomb I made shouldn't no, have produced an explosion that happen. big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't the reactor have fail-safes to prevent that kind of thing? Hmm. You mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. Oh, no. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. <sighs> Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. Jesse, like Jesse is literally taking the fall for this, and it wasn't what her fault. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, <gasps> quit talking <laughs> out your ass. <laughs> Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Hmm? J just who do you think you are? A law-abiding concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? Hmm. <laughs> uh, shh. Don't antagonize him. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear? Y'all's masters? <laughs> we will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. That's right. Oh, Jesus. That is the Shinra Creed. Greed or greed? <laughs> Them spiting words. It's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> well, that was a lot funnier as seen in the original. Now it's all very serious. <laughs> hey, Sleepy Doo. I was gonna say, I wonder if I'll get my little explanation from Jesse just now. You hear that suit? 
Shinra creed my ass. We're the good guys, damn it. You hear that suit? Shinra creed my ass. It's interesting to me, actually, when things like this happen, because there will always be people on both sides, but every person on whatever side always thinks they're right. And that's the funny thing, is that you've got people on Shinra who work for Shinra who genuinely believe that what they are doing is for the best. It's interesting. Let's get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not... <laughs> There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID <laughs> checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. <coughs> Don't worry. Our IDs are impeccable. What'd I tell ya? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there gotta struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako. While the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog, and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> That's what's always worked for me. That's so selfish, That's all though. well and good. If you're only out for yourself. Yeah. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know? I know, like, Cloud, early on into the game, like, his personality, in my opinion, is very unlikable. So, it's nice to actually hear it out. Because I remember, obviously, I played the original last year. And I remember talking about it and thinking, like, he's just so selfish in the beginning. And it makes him really unlikable. Sweetheart. I'm glad you're home. Don't worry, I'm fine. Oh, yeah. Goodness. <laughs> Knew it couldn't be that bad. No way. <laughs> Hot damn, we are good! <laughs> yes! Bombs detonated one, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, God. Ah. Ah. Hmm. Now get some r, &R. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the music's gonna make me cry. It's just so many memories for me. See you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know, where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. an emotional wreck playing this game. <laughs> oh, it's just beautiful. God. I think when I've like when you've just been waiting for so long to play something and it really is living up to all my expectations, it's like I just wanna cry. <laughs> you know? I just wanna cry so hard. 
Like it's so beautiful from the scene with Eris and now we're gonna go and see Tifa All these people here like seeing it come to life is just Oh goodness me Can I buy something yummy? That's such Final Fantasy 15 style music <laughs> hey, you're taking up the whole bench, buddy. This is so cool, man. It's just like an entire area. Oh my goodness. Right, where's the bar? I gotta find the bar. I gotta find Tifa. This is kind of exactly how I expected it to be. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco-warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> <laughs> What the? You okay, buddy? <laughs> Mako Junkie, huh? Figures. Wait, then Eris isn't here. You again. So maybe it's got nothing to do with Eris. Huh. Kind of crazy though, think about this for two seconds of your time, right? So, you live in the city, but when you look up, you don't see the sky. You literally see that. Like, isn't that the most insane nonsense that you have ever, like, seen? It's crazy! It's absolutely crazy! I just... I just I'm don't get sure. it. Soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the What's action. this? Warning. Gate broken. Fiends in area. Exercise caution. No reason to check it out. Not my problem. <laughs> you don't want to mess with the monsters in here. Who belong now? Oh, but I do. I really do. I'm guessing I'll get to go there at some point anyway. Public security should know who Um, excuse me. Uh, due to an emergency, entry into this area is prohibited sorry for the inconvenience you call that a warning no sir jeez he's new give him a break we all learn with emergency regulations entry into this area is prohibited. okay i'm going i'm going it's still too nice <laughs> oh my god we're at the sector seven slums Huh. Can't believe it. Wow. What are we watching on TV? That's it. That's it. There she is. Ah. Marlene. <gasps> That's right, Angel. I Welcome am. back. <laughs> Have you been a good girl? Yeah, I've been helping <laughs> Tifa. Oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. <laughs> huh? <sighs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, 
Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? Me? Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all that. Uh. Uh, uh. Hey! Uh, what the hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Jesus, calm down! Jesus never talk to strangers. <laughs> That's right, honey, I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, Daddy. Mm, all right, but just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that. We should talk outside. He's like, oh, no, you didn't, honey. Um, I just want to say, Abby, though. Did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Anyone talking about Tifa's boobs being too small? The size of them on her tiny little frame? Like, come on. You cannot be disappointed with that. There's just no way. Before we get on to money... There's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. that I promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. So, you make nice with everyone? As much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I do that. Yeah, ain't that the truth? This is nice, I'm getting shown around. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. I'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells him to. Sector seven? So, the top -siders it wasn't that bad? It was. Oh, right. And here we are, good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with 7th Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh. I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. Wait. Why? Who is this one? Can I go in? What are you doing? You've never even met this person. Oh, well... I mean, strangers are just friends you haven't met yet, or something. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it- There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but- That's it? Sorry, we spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. 
And you're sure about that? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Wait, then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best. I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. <sighs> She's totally doing us out of money. <clears throat> I'm trying to think, so who's in the other bar? Eh, other bar. The other room. <clears throat> Jesus. Guess it's time for introductions. What? Noisy neighbors? Oh, hell no! <laughs> Who is hey, it? You okay in there? Oh. Coming in. The door is open? Make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. Marco! Oh my god, and he's got the number on him too. The failed Sephiroth. <clears throat> that reunion cutscene? Sick! So good! So, so good! Oh, I'm so glad I played the original. Like, recently, because it's fresh in my brain. Okay. I got some apologizing to do. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice little world map theme there. Wait, I can go up? I tough the phoenix down, thank god. I just wanted to check on Marco. Can we just appreciate that just for a second, please? Oh. Oh. Gonna make me cry again. It's like I'm 10 years old again, sitting in my dining room without a care in the world, just on the world map, running around. <laughs> ah, god, I'm a nerd. <laughs> well now, you must be Cloud. I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. It can be about anything, even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had, 
And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. Ah, doggy. Why can't I pet the dog? Come on, quit lollygagging and go to Seventh Heaven already. It's like everybody knows the chemistry that Tifa and Cloud have together. This music is just too much. The watch is saying they're gonna see Searching for candidates. That who Wedge mentioned? That sword's massive. I know, it's huge. This year street behind me is Scrap Boulevard. It's crawling with monsters. Watch Oh, I know where that is. I know where that is. That sword's massive. I know, you said Searching that the last candidates. time. Hey, there's the weapon shop. Oh my gosh, like, I know this place, do you know what I mean? Like I, I know what it's supposed to look like and this is just so good. Cause you can climb up and then there's the save that's like jumping around the place. Yes, and there's people doing like weird push-ups and stuff. <laughs> They have done this game justice. 10 out of 10, my game of the year. Can I buy some weapons? Or maybe I have to come back after I go see Tifa and I can buy some weapons. I've just been smiling so much playing this that my cheeks genuinely are sore. All right, Tifa. Everyone's worried they're gonna run Hey, kitty! It's a sad day when people can't afford up what's in their wallet. What's happening to the planet? Morning. Hey. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. <sighs> Let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. <laughs> Although the next batch probably could, if Jesse put her mind to it. <sighs> Most every home in the area has one. Folks love them, because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. We bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? <sighs> Give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? <sighs> Please? As if you're gonna Let's say get this no. Over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. This game is beautiful. Go ahead and keep whatever we collect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Thanks. And don't worry. We'll pay you the difference after. Barrett's out making his rounds too. As long as I get it all today. Why though, like, let's be honest, Cloud. Where else do you have to be? You may hear music near shops and certain characters. As you approach the source of the music, a music icon will appear. The icon means that a music disc is available at a nearby shop or vending machine. All the items you could want straight from the plate. No matter your needs or your budget. Hey there, here to change out your water filter. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you to... Wait, let me see. Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, maybe. <laughs> huh? Cloud! Uh, since we're here, maybe we should do a little shopping. Suppose I could take a look? Right. Ooh, what materia? So, I don't have lightning. Uh, how much money have I got? 1,400. So I'll take one of those. And I'll take an ice. And that's me got one of each. And items. The prelude! A disc containing a dance song. Sure. And I'll get... Oh, 
Okay, I'm broke. Thanks. If you're ever in the market for anything else, drop on by. Especially if Teeth is with you. We'll see you around, okay? And let us know when your filter next needs changing. I love this little thing. So we got the prelude. Oh, yeah, want, straight from the plate. He's a regular. Stock up here, and he might throw in a freebie or two. For you, maybe. Well, you could try being a little nicer. To get free shit? Not my style. <laughs> Our next stop is Stargazer Heights. Landlady's a client. Just met her. Then you know what to expect. Remember, she's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Please. It's actually hard to believe that Cloud and Tifa are even friends. My husband is just because of the way Cloud actually treats Tifa. He's so cold. Hey, Maro, got some filters for you. Tifa, my dear, dear girl. Oh, what's he doing here? <laughs> Working. Be nice. <laughs> Cloud's helping me with collections. You better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. That I do. Still, better him than you. No charm, no wit, big sword, but no skills. I've got skills. Be nice. I'm doing my best. <laughs> You're looking awfully glum. Are you getting enough sleep? A good long rest will cure anything, I tell you. A tried and true lesson for life on the ground floor, am I right? That you are. Now, your money. Thanks, Marl. You take care of yourself. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. So taking a break at a rest spot recovers all your HP and MP. Rest spots include your own bed, blue benches next to vending machines, and other locations. Thanks, lady. I'm gonna try and be more positive, I promise. Marl's great. She helped get me set up back in the day. You been here a while now? Five years, give or take. But never mind that. We've got to get you your money. Last stop is the weapon store. See, this is nice because it's showing you around and where you can get all your bits and bobs. Oh my gosh, yes! It looks just like it. Hey, that last filter didn't do shit. We're so sorry about that. Hopefully this one will work better. Save your excuses and get out! All right. If you could just settle your bill, we'll be on our way. The hell? You charging me for your busted ass goods? My associate handles payment disputes. Think you can mosey up in here and have it your way? Pretty please. <laughs> Thank you very much. Seeing as we're done with our rounds and you've got a small fortune now, why not take a gander at the weapons? Well, when will Barrett be back with the rest? <sighs> Before we open up tonight. It'll be a while yet, so... What do you want to do? Don't really know. In that case, I've got a suggestion. Want to hear it? If you're serious about becoming a merc, then you're going to need to start making connections. It's not what you know, but who you know, you know? Hmm. Another lesson for life on the ground floor. Yep. Connections get you jobs. Jobs build your rep. And more rep gets you better connections. How do I start? Hmm. Why not help out the Neighborhood Watch? They're mostly volunteers, but you'll get to know people. Yeah, okay. Didn't see anybody at the office, so let's head up top. Okay, so let's keep you and your family safe and with a weapon up your Huh? I ain't got nothing for a punk ass bitch like you. Get on out of here. Okay, what about this guy? Does he like me? Nope. All right. <laughs> Tifa's like, "Go ahead and have a look at the weapons." And I'm like, "Um they hate me now, Tifa, because of you." We got to do something about the monsters on Scrap Boulevard. I had a Huh? Didn't know you were holding down the fort. Huh? Oh, uh, hey, Cloud. Looking to join the Neighborhood Watch? That depends. What does this Neighborhood Watch do? 
Uh, it's that room with really. the save point! Our top priority is taking care of any beasts that wander into town. That, and teaching the locals how to defend themselves. Like they say, the only one who will look out for you is you. Cloud's a great fighter, but only we know that. If no one knows him, no one will hire him. Thought if he joined the watch, he could get his name out there. That would work for everybody. Truth be told, we could really use your help. We can't pay you in kill, but we'll work something out. For example... Aha! What about your sword? I could mod it for you. No thanks. It's fine just the way it is. What? You some kind of purist? I know I'd never pass up a chance to improve my gear. Come on. At least let me show you how it's done. Do it, Cloud! Let Biggs show you what it can do. Make it so we can have more materia, please! You can now enhance your weapons with skill points, okay? You can enhance weapons and unlock blah blah blah. First, select the character whose weapon you'd like to upgrade. The number to the right of each weapon is the max SP value. Right, so that goes up with your actual level. I'm blind! Okay, 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 this is, this is interesting. Unlock weapon skills and enhance your weapons. Weapon skills can be unlocked using skill points. Every weapon has its own skill point pool. Max HP. That's really cool, actually. So it's got four different things. So let's go for HP up, and then let's go for um, attack power up. Nice, okay. So unlocking skills has all kind of beneficial effects such as boosting weapon stats and incre- <gasps> Yes! Increasing materia slots! Thank you! That's what we need. All set? Needless to say, you'll have to try it out to appreciate the difference. Thanks. <laughs> we'll do you one better. Spread the word to everyone who'll listen about the new Merc in town. Between him and Wedge, there isn't anyone they don't know. I'll march through the streets singing your praises, even on an empty stomach. So, where are these monsters? Scrap Boulevard. Good hunting. Hey, Cloud, I'll come with. No, I've got this. But you don't know the way, do you? Lead on. <laughs> sure thing. I know these streets better than anyone. Yes! Gonna be fighting alongside Tifa! Oh, where's my jumping save, though? Is it not in here? Just so you know, the watch relies on residents' donations for funding. Working for the neighborhood watch is the best kind of cover. <laughs> right, well, we are going to go and test out our brand new skills. I love this. It's just... Out west. Past the barricades, supposed to keep the monsters out. Anyway, we should prepare, just in case. I think I'm good. Um, I was gonna say, I'm gonna need to give Tifa some materia. So she has chakra materia? Oh, okay. Let's give her... I mean, he's got cure, so we'll give her ice. So I don't want that. Alright, I am ready to go and do some fights. I feel like I haven't actually done many fights. Um, at least in this episode. Well, that's kind of a lie. We did start off with the 
the train station section. I'm just in awe of this game. It makes me so happy just the way they've expanded on everything. They have done such a fantastic job and I'm trying not to be biased, but I, I don't care. I don't care. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Bye.